the symptoms of syphilis are quite varied and they change according to the stage of the disease as well. So normally what you get right at the very beginning um, is that you get a little ulcer, uh, maybe one, normally just one ulcer, um, that isn't painful at all and normally in the area uh, in which you were infected with syphilis. So that tends to be in the genitals but it might also be um, in the mouth or around the bottom as well. Um, that will heal on its own and a lot of people don't even notice that they have that ulcer at the beginning. Um, and then after that there are various different symptoms you can get in what's called secondary syphilis uh, which is the next stage. So the one that's most obvious is a rash that um, covers most of your body and typically covers the palms and the soles of your feet as well which is what makes it a bit different to a lot of other rashes you can get. Um, you might also get other symptoms such as you know, feeling like um, you're generally unwell, like you're weak, tired, feel a bit nauseated, maybe you've got um, a bit of a fever as well. Um, so apart from the rash, they're all fairly non-specific and you might not attribute them to syphilis if you're not really thinking about it. Um, but then after a while those symptoms will go away as well. Um, and then you can have a long period of really no symptoms at all um, until you hit what's called tertiary syphilis, which is the last stage um, of syphilis where the bacteria may already have gone to, uh, to the brain or to the heart or you know, maybe quite widely disseminated already. Um, so if you're coming in to have a sexual health check anyway, it's probably as well to have a syphilis test at the same time because um, these symptoms, you may attribute them to other things, you may not even notice that you've had them. Um, and it's, you know, it's no more needles, it's just the same uh, tubes of blood, they just get sent off for one extra test. Um, and it's one of those things that's good to pick up early because you can be infectious for about two years after you've, um, after you've caught syphilis and it's not something that you really want to pass on to your partners.